Hello, and thank you for joining this tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the Climate Smart Farming Water Deficit Calculator, which is part of the ClimateSmartFarming.org suite of agricultural decision support tools. This tool can be used to determine water deficit and plant stress on your specific farm location in the northeastern United States. You can see on the tutorial video, I have chosen July 20th, 2017, and my location of Ithaca, New York, showing that I, don't ha that I do have a deficit However, there is no plant stress at the moment. Also, there is a forecast out into the future showing what conditions might be to help me make decisions on my planting and irrigating. What we want you to be able to do is customize this tool given your location in the Northeast. To do this, we'll go over to the left-hand toolbar and choose our location by clicking the Pencil Edit box. There are two ways to choose a location. The first is to click with your cursor on any location in the northeast, setting down a yellow pin. Once this is set down, we can see the specific address and zip code of this yellow pin. This one is in northern New York. Once we've done this, we can cancel to get out of this box completely. We can save, which will save it and turn it blue for use at a later time. Or we can save and select to automatically update the tool graph to reflect this location. However, we're going to cancel out of this means of choosing a location and enter a specific location in the box at the top. We can enter a county, state, zip code, or address. So we're going to enter 14850 for Ithaca, New York, and click Go. Another thing to mention is we can use the plus and minus to zoom in or out and we can also use the X's in the, in the corners of the boxes to get out as well as the cancel. But we're going to hit save and select and automatically update our graph on the right. The second, the next thing down on our toolbar on the left is to choose our soil water capacity. We have options of high, medium, and low in the drop down menu. We'll choose medium. After we've chosen this, the graph will update again and we can choose our crop type. We have multiple crop types available for selection in the drop-down menu. From grass reference to vegetables, we're, gonna, we're going to choose legumes. And you can see the graph updates again on the right. The other thing to choose on the way down is planting or bud break. So this is the date whether you've, whether you've planted or you've noticed bud break. And this will be determined on whether you have perennials or annuals. This will not necessarily change the graph on the right, because it defaults on the left-hand side to the last date of full water recharge, which just so happens to be July 15th, which is after the May 1st date. However, if you were to change this, you could either click in the left and toggle left and right using these arrows in the left and right-hand corners, or we can choose from the drop-down menu our dates, our different months, our different years going all the way back to 2002 and we can select any date we'd like from the calendar. Now we know most farmers in the Northeast do not irrigate so we've selected this tool to automatically reach, set the left hand boundary to recharge through rainfall or precipitation. However, if you would like to choose a last irrigation date to override this function, you can do so using this, this box right here by doing edit and selecting a date given the same map for calendar format that we had for planting and bud break. Now you can see this is only if maybe seven or eight days of the growing season because we recharge on July 15th and it has observed and forecasted. If we would like to see the entire growing season we can choose you can tick this box for view entire season to see everything going back from March to currently incorporating the three-day forecast. And for this selection, you can go to the planting or bud break date, select different years, such as 2006, and click enter, after you've clicked a specific date, and see data for that particular year. So let's go back to this year, and I can show you a few more functions of this tool. We'll click enter. We have this year again. So through two things on this tool, we have this tab, water deficit results, but we also have other tabs. We have a next 30 day tab, 
which shows you for what you've put in already in the toolbar uh, a, a forecast or basically a historical probability outlook for the next 30 days. You can select different days in this which change the bar chart on the right in the bottom right and see your probability of deficit whether it be none, small, stress, or severe. And this is a useful tool to see your outlook for the next 30 days. And finally, we're working to incorporate climate change projections here at the Climate Smart Farming team into all of our tools, but we hope to have it first for this water deficit calculator. We hope to downscale global climate models into this specific tool to show how water deficits and plant stress might be affected for the next 30 to 50 years in the Northeast. If you would also like to read about the instructions on how to use this tool, scroll below and you can see detailed instructions that will also be incorporated into a pop-up window in the near future. Finally, we do have a survey we would love you to take to give feedback on this tool if you have any questions or different ideas for the tool. And thank you so much for listening. Let us know if you want to contact us in any way about questions on the tool. Thank you.